Hey, what the fuck is up, YouTubers? My name is Hunt Noops, and I'm coming back at you, not necessarily with some gameplay footage, guys, just a real quick, uh, what my Wiimote settings are. And now, again, just a little disclaimer, I guess, uh, just because I am comfortable and this is what I enjoy, doesn't necessarily mean it's what you're going to be comfortable with, excuse me, comfortable with, and what you're going to enjoy. So at the end of the day, you know, just whatever works for you, works for you. I'm just going to show you what works for me. So maybe what you are using is not working for you. Maybe, maybe you're still not comfortable with it. Maybe you enjoy my settings. Now, just to give you a quick heads up, I consider myself to be an advanced Wiimote user. I've been using Wiimotes for years. So my settings are a little bit higher than most people uh, just because I, I'm acclimated with it and I'm comfortable with and I, and I, and I know the correct motions for me. When it comes to uh, you know being able to outgun somebody or whatnot, and uh, you know, so again, it, it it might not fit your comfort level, and if it doesn't, you know, it is what it is. If it does, hell, let me know in the comment section below if anything helped you out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump down into my controls. Um, I do use a custom layout, um, as you guys can see here. Uh, I use my jump button for down, and my melee for up. Uh, the reason for that is because I, the jump shot, man, I hate it when I had to jump and take my hand off of uh, the A button or whatever it was. I had to reach up there, and it just, I don't know, man, it just was always an awkward feel for me. So my jump button is the down on the D-pad, and which makes it, I don't know, it makes it great, man. You can jump and drop shot. You know, I don't really knife too often. The only time I really contemplate knifing is when I'm coming around tight corners, and then i am already got my finger up top because I don't even want to shoot the guy. Especially with being on Call of Duty Ghosts, I already know that knifing is going to be ideal, especially in close quarters. So I already have my nut, my thumb on the knife as I come around the corner. I'm already prepared for it on the top of the D-pad. So, I don't know. There it is. I use uh, custom control. It's professional. <laughs> no no indication uh, uh, of what I am at all. It's just It's what I like because it's a high sensitivity. My aim style is enabled. And I have precision for scope aiming, I guess it is. My camera speeds, this is what my camera speeds are, guy. Uh, they're not as high as I, I, they used to be for on um, Black Ops. Black Ops, I had them a little bit higher in this, but you know, it's what works for me. You can definitely adjust this back and forth. Even I put up a little bit more, it wouldn't really affect anything or whatnot, but that's what I use, which makes it comfortable for me. And uh, my sensitivity, and this is what I have my sensitivity on. Uh, again, not too high, but just what works well for me. And, and you can always go up or down. Uh, but you know, that's what I like. I think it was on 1230. Who, who gives a fuck to be honest with you? Um, it's not going to make that much of a difference, but again, that's what works for me. Um, you guys definitely can adjust this to wherever you like, but you know, just let me know in the comment section below again, if it works for you. Now, this is what I consider myself to be a little bit more custom than most. I like my dead zones to be very small. I like to have full control of my aiming. I don't like when you have to look up and push really hard to shift and move. I like immediate reaction of the Wiimote off of my reactions as well. You know, I like to just be, you know, I like them coexisting each other like hand in hand. When I move, you move, you know? And my dead zones are pretty much the same size, same exact for the uh, the ADS dead zone as well. My gestures, this is what it is. My Wiimote sensitivity, man, I might put that up just a little bit now that I'm thinking about it. And that's pretty much when you shake your Wiimote, you know, that's when, when you reload, that's what I use. Sensitivity really doesn't make a difference to me when it comes to the nunchuck. And ADS reach. Uh, at 30, I mean, I used to have it all the way up, but, you know, again, I'm, right now I'm comfortable with where it's at, so it really, it doesn't make uh, too much of a difference to me. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Options. Let's go to options. All right. And, you know, you guys see what it is, you know. It's, I mean, I could go through it or whatnot, but it's really nothing crazy. Um, weapon twisting, I, I know it's something I have disabled. Um, and that's pre everything's pretty much exactly what it's supposed to be except for the weapon twisting. Uh, weapon twisting, whatever it is. Because it looks weird. I feel like I'm a gangster when I'm running down my gun sideways. Now, this is something that I use that, you know, I like to consider myself somewhat of an originator of. You know, I've been using this reticle for, I, if you go back to Black Ops 1, you'll see that I've been using it. I've been noticing a lot of people using it lately. Not to say that they bit my style, but, you know, I definitely was one of the first ones to run around with this. Because back in the day... You know, that's what I really like it on. I don't know why. Back in the day, people would run around with um, this. You know, it would be something like that or that or that there or even the lines. And a lot of people would have that, and I just didn't like it. I felt like it blocked my view, so I pretty much always rocked this right here, just a little dot, and it'd be super small because I know with the ADS snap, if I had that red dot on you and ADS snap doing its job, 
I pretty much going to get that kill, you know. Uh, you know, with my settings being the way they are, uh, it always made me comfortable with, you know. Again, like I've noticed a lot of people have been using it lately. I'm like, hmm. Not that they watch my content or anything like that, but you know what? I definitely know I was one of the first ones to do it because back in the day, I noticed everybody had that weird shape. And I'm like, man, fuck that, dude. It's blocking my view. So that's pretty much it when it comes to my Wemo settings, guys. Again, write in the comment section below. Let me know if it's working out for you. I'll show you right here that it's working out well for me. Um... And there it is, you know, there's my KD when it comes to uh, the Wemo. I have a 2.35 KD. Granted, I haven't played too many games, but I really don't see it going any different than that because the Wiimote is just so much fun to use, man. I tell you what, it's kind of like the veil's been lifted, you know. The, the rekindling of your boy hunting noobs in the Wiimote is back, man. I'm pulling the lotion out. I'm molesting the fuck out of this thing, and it's, uh, it's working out well for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Please feel free to rate the video. And again, if it does help you out any way, shape, or form, please let me know in the comment section below. I get off on this type of shit. With that being said, guys, it's your boy Hunt Noobs. I'm out this bitch. The says get wrecked, son. Woo! And please, by all means, molest your Wiimote.